Hi folks, Tim here from High End Cheap Tech. Tech that's so good, you won't believe how little it costs. And today we're going to talk about this gizmo and unbox it right there on the screen. I'm going to stretch it out and keep talking. Uh, this is a fantastic item, folks. Just utterly fantastic for the price. Now, the learning curve on here is steep at first. You learn and all that good stuff. But other than that, no. Yeah. And I will mention now that I did find the Quick Start Guide and the Owner's Manual. Very, very cool. And uh, I learned a lot of stuff playing with it today. And it comes with this nice velvety case, which I put it in. And where it will stay until tomorrow when it's going to be 63 degrees. 63, folks. I'll go outside and walk around. Yeah, even the old man can get out for this. I don't expect me to run with it. And I'll probably shoot that on the Mi A2 or A3. The Mi A3 is really a stellar phone, folks. If it comes down to that or this. Red me Note 8. Uh, I'm not impressed. <sighs> Note 8 is so great. In one glaring reason. Audio is horrible. So let's move on to the unboxing because you didn't come here for the comparison of the Mi 3 uh, The Red me Note 8. Let's do that. Right after the intro, which is coming up from somewhere. And of course, we're going to edit this on the Mi A2, only because I already have Power Director on it. Pro. Let's get to it. Okay, kids, here we go. And uh, we're going to go up through here and do a little... Yeah, I may have gone over this with the knife already. Yeah, it looks awfully easy. And of course it will be. We're going to get all that plastic off of there. First, ooh, nice. Ooh, nothing like it. And we're going to get rid of all that into a trash can somewhere very shortly. And then uh, we're going to see what's in the box. And uh, let's not forget you're going to need the Mimo app. Uh, DJI Mimo. You can get it on Google Play or the App Store if you have an Apple. Either or will work for you. Uh -huh. So, no matter what kind of phone you're checking out, we're taking photos with. We're doing cool stuff with. Well, let's see what we got in this box. And I believe I have this figured out. I'm not sure. Of course, I'm not sure. Because I'm retarded as hell when it comes to this stuff. Oh, so we're going to just... Uh, Slipper knife under here. Let's see if we can kind of. There we go. I'll pry that lid up real quick. And now, uh, ooh, there it is, folks. It's in here. Lots of padding. I mean, a lot of uh, styrofoam. So let's get this son of a gun out of there. Oh, and there she sits. And then we'll see what else is in here. First, before we take a look at this very small and tiny uh, appliance. 
Uh, uh. We're gonna grab this box off of there and uh, try to get it open. Make sure I'm not completely brain dead. And let's see what we get inside. We'll check it out right now. Mm hmm. Okay, we're gonna get like three items. There's a little wrist strap we can put on. Very cool. Um, a USB C charging cable. And I'm sure somewhere around here is an owner's manual of some sort. And I'm guessing in this last thing. What we've got is our little carry bag, which is mighty nice of them to provide. That's all you need. You can get a hard case for this, folks, but do you really need one? This is a pretty solid object from what I can feel. And then, you know, if you're just walking around town, you're going to leave your phone stuck in it anyway. I remember, I've never even used one of these before. Or anything similar. Uh, it'll be quite the learning curve, folks. Quite. And uh, here's our little bag that it came with. Osmo DJI. That will be something we can put our Osmo into. In the bag. <laughs> so, let's get right down to the coolness portion here. The part we're all looking forward to for about a hundred and, uh, under a hundred and ten dollars. I picked this up on Amazon. Links will be in the description below. And folks, yeah. This thing is solid, folks. Gorgeous, I tell you. You'll be able to stick your phone right in there. So, uh, I don't know. You gotta unlock it first, or what you gotta do? Uh, oh, oh, that's the lock position. <laughs> oh. And one of these you hit. <laughs> Press and hold record button, trigger and M button simultaneously to forget the Bluetooth device, whichever that might be. <laughs> so that's locked. This is locked. So how do we get this son of a gun open? I guess first thing we want to do is probably power it on. See if there's any juice in here. Looks like there's cheese. What do we think of that? Our charging is going to go in through here. And it's just to press on both sides of this <coughs> to uh, open it. And I'm not sure. Or do you? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, kids. Uh, and down goes Fraser. Uh huh. Huh, not hearing anything here. Oops. Hmm. Not sure how to unlock it. We'll have to figure that out, won't we? Oh, that's now released. How do we release this? I guess we just pull up on it. Who knew? That simple. All right. All right, all right. Now, folks, let's uh, try to power down here. Do something with it. And, whoa, that's slick. Uh-huh. All right, that's our straight-ahead point. 
where I might be. I don't know if this thing's on or just rolling around. It's, I think it's just rolling around right now. Okay, I think we have to press and hold this to get it going. Uh-huh. We don't know. Uh-oh, there it went. Something just happened. No, nothing happened yet. Mm-hmm. Four and five, something like that. Uh, I don't know if this comes in an orange manual or not. We're going to have to. Uh, Figure that out in a second here. 20 here will be, ooh, I gotta turn off that record button, I guess. I'm trying to remember the instructions I read somewhere else. Well, We'll get back to you in a second. One time, got the Mimo app on the spoon. Be right back. All right, folks, final conclusions here. Uh, obviously, I mentioned this at the beginning, but we got a quick start guide and some instructions in here. And uh, there's a ton of videos with tutorials and whatnot to help you out. So you can learn how to use this thing. The learning curve on this is going to be a little long for me, but we'll see. I mean, tomorrow, 63 degrees, I'll be out there at least walking around the neighborhood and seeing how the EIS works on either the Mi A2 or the Mi A3. Both of them will work. Uh, we'll see. So we'll catch you in the next one, which will be on the Soundcore Life Q10s that El Jefe sent us a little while back. And uh, they're still going, folks, over a week. Uh, yeah, they've just been on for the most part. Well, some days I turn them off. We're still a battery medium. Maybe I need to listen to more music, but that's... Neither here nor there. And as I told you, of course, if I'm repeating myself, mm, y'all, we found the instruction manuals in that box. Um, I just didn't look close enough at the accessory box inside. Next one, sound course. Stay tuned. Maybe tonight? Well, I'll probably shoot part of it tonight because I've pretty much given up on ever running a mountain. I'll tell you how quick from medium it took to charge them back to full. So I assume they were down to uh, 30 hours of listening time. I listen to about 50 to 60%. Depends on which phone they're hooked to. Different phones have different outputs. So, so uh, all that being said and done, thanks for watching the whole damn thing. And leave feedback. Read the description, like, share, subscribe, and hit the little bell. Talk to you.